right, this is Cisco UCS B200 M4 unboxing. Hello, UCS B200 M4. So the um, E5 version 3 CPUs, I believe, are the most significant feature of the B200 M4 series. Right, the M4 corresponds to the Haswell EP version 3 CPUs. And with this one has what's the number on this model? E5 2600. I'm talking about this. 2695. Yep. 2695D version three. They have 14 cores, and these are dual proc. So we have 28 physical cores inside this unit, and that means 56 threads. So if we're running VMware, that's 56. Virtual CPUs for the sign. The biggest problem I had with these over time was getting the cover open. Press and hold the button down and holding back the front of the cover, pull back the lid and then up. Looking at the front, what do we got? Got a couple storage bays. Those are blanking panels, I believe, since we're not going to be installing any virtual discs here. So this guy uh, features up to 768 gigs of RAM. Nice. Looks like we've got uh, two DIMMs in each bank of, uh, what have we got, a six bank? Yeah, this thing, right, so this thing, this 24 DIMM slots, yep, so there's four banks of six. Yep. DDR4 speeds up to 2133 megahertz, total six, 768 gigs of RAM possible. Um, yeah, the V3 goes up to, the Haswell EPs go up to 36 cores. So this guy, as you said, what's 24? You want to tick one? 28, 28 cores. Oh, 28, right. 28 total. What do oh. we got for DIMMs in here? Uh, I don't 16, 16 gig? No, oh, I see one by, no, one by 162 RU, I'm not sure. We didn't get a lot in this one. Um, so there's eight, eight times 60, 16. 128. 128. And then we got a mezzanine uh, card back here. Yeah, this is the MLOM. It's the same from the last generation on this one. Uh, that's the base model of the virtualizable uh, mezzanine adapter. So you can create the multiple virtual NICs. What do we get for, what do we get for total trace? Is this 80 gig like this, or is this going to be a... This 40, is a 40 gig 40 capable gigs, okay. uh, throughput if you have your 2208 XP Fabric Interconnect uh, IO modules and I think all ports uplinked and you could have like, I don't know, 256 virtual NICs or something crazy. Right, yeah. <clears throat> up from the first generation was the up to 128. Right. Um, so the, so the frequency on the pro this processor is 2.3 gigahertz with a turbo frequency of 3.3 gigahertz. And uh, this 14 core model, some of these V3s have a feature called cluster on die, which means that there's two different clusters of CPUs on each socket. If you would actually load VMware on these, it would appear as a four processor unit. So you have to disable this cluster on die feature in the BIOS or via your UCS policy in order for uh, it to be supporting VMware 5.5 and below. I believe that VMware 6.0 I was told would be supporting the cluster on die feature. Your cluster on die, uh, the feature itself makes memory access, like NUMA, makes um, processes and CPU access, tries to keep it on the single cluster rather than going across clusters to maximize your throughput and performance. Anything else? There was supposed to be some flex flash. Um, slots on this i didn't see them on the front though oh it's there's something on the side here see is that a slot sd card slot here so you can actually load an operating system on an sd card and then plug that in the side there and have you know if you don't have a boot from san or a pixie boot set up you can still be um, spinning diskless and go solid state flash for your boot operating systems um, this actually has two slots for 32 or 64 gig sd flash memory cards this guy also has, looks like a, a interesting little storage 
port there. B BMC boot says, and it says storage. BMC boot? BMC boot. Baseboard management controller, so that'd be like a, that's a and that's a host boot USB. There's actually an internal USB there. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we can actually plug a, we could actually plug a, oh, like an a internal, key. Yeah, internal yep, we key could plug a key inside on that and actually boot off that as well. Here's your, um, your BIOS, uh, All right, BIOS battery. Battery, yep. Yeah, buy some extras of those because we start seeing those going on the older UCS models. Uh, flex storage, UCS flex storage. Yeah, that's just the, uh, the SSD SAT or SAS. And nothing else exciting. I mean, it's just bigger, it's just faster. We could run half our data center on this, um, on a single blade. Yeah, what is it? It's 56 total cores, not bad. All right, well, that's your UCS B200 M4 unboxing. Thank you.